cameras rolling. And three, two. Welcome to the football show here on 710 ESPN. I'm Max Belter, joined by Desmond Penn and Sean. And Sean. And today we're going to be talking about contenders in each division in the NFC. So let's start with Sean. All right, so we're starting with the NFC North here. The NFC North is composed of the Lions, Vikings, Bears, and Packers. And I would say the clear favorite in this one, I would say, is probably the Lions because obviously they had a really good season and they have uh, their core uh, running backs such as Jameer Gibbs uh, going for a second season. It could be a start of a sophomore slump, but I feel like it will get better. So it might be a slow start for the Lions, but I feel like they will pick it up later in the year. I would agree with that one. I think the Green Bay Packers are a good contender also, but I think the Lions will pull it out. Jared Goff, an underrated quarterback, and I think that overall they just have a great system that hasn't changed much from last year. I, I absolutely agree. I just think the Lions are way too dangerous, especially their receiving core with the young Jameson Williams and Amon Ross St. Brown. They're just going to be unstoppable in the north. I don't really see anyone that matches up. So next, let's start with the south, and let's start with Desmond this time. All right, the south would be um, the Falcons, Panthers, Saints, and Bucks. And I'm going to go with kind of a curveball here, and I'm going to go with the Panthers. I think Bryce Young is going to have a good sophomore season. Uh, they put some pieces around him. I think that last season they just didn't really know what was, up, what was going on. They didn't know how Bryce Young was going to do. And honestly, Bryce Young's performance was not bad last season. It was the team around him. So I really think that they might – Go ahead. Um, really quickly, Sean, before you answer, we have a caller calling in. All right. South. I mean, you got Baker Mayfield, who's coming off his best season ever. Um, Mike Evans, the most consistent receiver in the league, and Antoine Winfield Jr., uh, in my opinion, who's the best free safety in the league. Uh, I just like to say that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, what do you think about that, Sean? So, uh, I would agree with our caller here. I think the Bucks will win the division. I think Baker Mayfield had a really good season, kind of uh, restarted his career, and I think uh, it really worked out last season. And uh, I would say the Bucks would have a similar season, obviously having a pretty similar team uh, to last year. And I feel like there really just isn't anyone that's uh, a contender in that division. I feel like the Panthers eventually will be a potential playoff team, but I don't think it's going to be this year. I think it's going to be in a few years in the future. But uh, I think uh, the Bucks win it by a similar amount. All right. We're, we're running out of time. we got to do a speed round of these next two. How about the NFC East, Desmond? Um, I think it's pretty clear. I think the Eagles with Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, just a great receiving core. Um, they've been able to hold on to a lot of their players. Jason Kelsey is a loss, but I think that they can just plow through it. So as uh, that could be a good receiving core, I think it's going to be uh, similar to last year. I feel like the Eagles just fell off late last year, and I feel like we could see that again this year. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys. I don't think they're going to be as good of a Cowboy team as they were last year, but I say they do win it, just the division will not be as strong. All right, last one. Let's go super quickly. The NFC West, Sean. All right, well, uh, I'm going to state the obvious choice. I'm going to go with the 49ers. I think the Seahawks will uh, give them a run for their money, but I think the 49ers are clearly the obvious choice. They have just such a dominant team. Um, I definitely agree with that. I think the 49ers, uh, the Seahawks, again, great young core. I think great uh, kind of feel swap with a new coach. But overall, I think the 49ers are going to continue their dominance. With their and those are all our takes. We'll leave you with a quick ad break here. This segment was brought to you by MLW. Catch the best wiffle ball action on the Internet and all, also on their YouTube page, MLW Wiffle Ball, and all of their socials. Also, they have a summer of stadium tours, and they are headed to many major league parks as well as minor league parks all around the country. And look for play-by-play -play calls after, after the first game of every series posted on YouTube. Thank you.